everybody welcome back to the channel guys it is nearly half past nine and romeo woke up about half an hour ago you had a big sweep this morning didn't you you had a big sweep this morning usually i would kind of wake him up when we all get up if he's not up by then already just to get his body clock onto a good setup for the day but you needed your sleep this morning didn't you baby because someone's a little bit poorly he's got bronchiolitis you're just a poorly boy as you can see he's a very happy boy <coughs> oh, oh, oh. are you showing everyone your cough are you showing everyone how big and brave you are <coughs> yeah as you can see he's very happy He's not really far from his usual self, to be honest. But he's had a bit of a cough since the end of last week. And I tried to get him seen by the doctors, but sadly they were understaffed, so they, they couldn't see him. And they just said to keep an eye on him. But because he didn't have a temperature or, like, he was still feeding fine, he was still having wet nappies, etc. They were kind of like, don't worry, like, it's fine, just keep an eye on him. But I just knew, I knew that I wasn't really happy and that I really wanted him to be seen by a doctor. So I called the doctors again yesterday and they were like, look, we still don't have the capacity to see him, but if you're worried, you should just take him to A&E so he can definitely be seen. So we did that, we drove to A&E. Holy baby has bronchiolitis. So just a loving reminder, to any mummies out there just to follow your mum instinct because as I said he wasn't hitting like the doctor's threshold of like urgency I guess because he didn't have a temperature and he's still feeding fine and although there isn't anything you can really do for bronchiolitis I don't know I'm just I'm still pleased that I got him seen by a doctor because you just need to keep your eyes on these things you know but you're being such a big brave guy you're still very happy aren't you Still chatting away to mummy and smiling away to your brother. You've just been taking it slow, huh? And your brother and dad are currently out at B&M getting new batteries for Saint's train track because if you guys watched um, the birthday vlog, you'll know that I got him like this dinosaur racetrack thing. I'll show you, I'll show you guys later. Well, I don't know if I will actually because I don't really know if you are really interested in seeing a dinosaur racetrack. It has been on. 24 7 the minute saint goes down those stairs in the morning he has to turn on his dinosaur racetrack we're not allowed to turn it off until he goes to bed at night so that's the soundtrack of my life is whirring train noises going around the dinosaur track so they're out to go and do that and they're also bless con returning all of my clothing packages because i've literally ordered about well we're not gonna say how many clothes are we because you guys don't need to know how much but a lot a lot We've been in mummy's dressing room trying it all on, haven't we? And you've been giving me direction and you've been saying, no mum, yes mum. So I had lots of packages to return, but yeah, it's all holiday clothes because we are going away. When is it? Not next week, but the week after. We are going on a family holiday. Spain, we're actually going to um, an area that we've already been on holiday to. We went there last summer for my dad's 60th birthday and it's a really good place for the kids and it's lovely weather and they've got nice beaches they've got a brilliant mall and it's just a week in the sun so me and all of my older sisters and all the kids are going to go there just for a week so yeah despite being in the weirdest phase with my body at the moment like on one hand i really don't even have time to care my body is the least interesting thing about me to be honest the parts i'm insecure about nobody is seeing Apart from my husband that I've been with for nearly nine years, you know, I've birthed two babies. Like, I'm a busy gal. I'm not thinking about my stomach or my hips. But at the same time, it's like, okay, when am I gonna find something that I feel good in that isn't just, like, a hoodie and shorts? Do you know what I mean? But I found some really, really gorgeous summer dresses in Zara that I ordered. So I'll show you guys those later. But yeah, shopping for a new wardrobe on your postpartum is not fun. And also, because I'm breastfeeding, my boobs now are so different to what they were like before. But not even like 
because they're saggy. Listen, I'm just gonna say, if any boys are watching this, listen, soz in advance, babe. But not because they're, I feel like they're saggy or anything like that, but because they're so big. Like, because they're so big. Now that I'm this little guy's milk maiden 24 seven, it's back and cool. They really like change the framing of my body. And I found that like stuff that I would usually really gravitate towards wearing, like hangs differently on my body now, literally because my boobs are so different. So, that's a bit of fun postpartum chat, right, yo yo? I'm sure everyone wanted to know how much your mum's boobs is different now. <laughs> anyway, today I think we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. First, this little guy is ready to go back down for his first nap of the day. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. Oh. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, we're ready to go back to sleep. One thing that I would urge any mums of babies to get in case they get a cold, this one looks wet inside because it's, I've just washed it. Um, with Romeo's sniffly nose, this has literally been so good for him. It's the Frida Snot Sucker, I think it's called. Delightful by the name, as you can tell. But it provides so much relief for him. Oh, you're so sweepy. Let me give you a big cuddle and we'll go to bed. But definitely get one of those. It's so good and what else have we been doing to make you feel comfortable baths with the um asda vapor bubble bath that's really good just lots of cuddles just lots of tlc okay, okay my love shut these for you This is the white noise machine we have in our bedroom for yo-yo. The hatch one and it's expensive but worth it. You can turn it on from your phone. You can use it as a night light. I've got it off at the moment but yeah you can do that. Pick different sounds for it. So both babies are currently down for a nap. I've just put Saint down. And I'm actually about to have a therapy session in about five minutes time. So I'm gonna quickly make myself a slice of toast and take my vitamins. I've just um, had a shower and got dressed because we're going shopping later. And when you're a mum and the babies are down for a nap, you have to cram in what you can cram in, do you know what I mean? So I thought if I have a shower, do my skincare and get dressed and we go out later now, then that means that's one job I don't have to do once I come out of my therapy session. So my outfit today, I actually really love because it's so comfortable, like still really nice and dressy as well. Well, dressy for me, you guys know me, usually I'm in a hoodie and leggings, babe. It's just this linen shirt that I just bought from H&M and it's like a long one normally, but I've just tied it into a cropped one because I am obsessed with these trousers. I feel like you can't really see them, but I found on ASOS the other day that they do this range called Hourglass, which is basically just a range of like trousers and shorts basically that have extra fabric, fabric cut around the hips, which is perfect for me, even pre-pregnancy. Um, and I've really, really wanted some nice white linen trousers for summer. Everywhere I pick, like especially at the moment, being in such a like fresh postpartum body and my body's still kind of doing its thing, I've just not found any that are comfortable on me. So I thought I'd order these from the ASOS Hourglass range and I literally love them. But I'll link them below in my favorites link that has literally everything that I ever talked about in there. Also linked on my Instagram. On like a story highlight if you want to shop it on there i don't know if it's just like the postpartum phase i'm in right now but i'm in like a real i don't know like a, i don't want to call it like a self-identity crisis but with my style i feel like i haven't changed up my style literally since i was about 21 like when i really really think about it i've just always like bought stuff that i like and i feel like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but I just want to start taking more care in the way I dress and like present myself and you know I've just been doing loads of like Pinterest in recently and I'm just in a bit of bit of an inspired era you know I love Rosie Huntingdon Whitley style it's very like classic but still cool but it's like quite a minimalist wardrobe and I love Sophia Ritchie style so I'm kind of 
buying pieces that filter into their kind of styles but also while being very like postpartum friendly, you know? So yeah, anyway, I'm about to head into my therapy session now. Um, my therapy session was supposed to be yesterday, but because we were taking Romeo to A&E, I had to cancel unfortunately, but luckily my therapist um, could manage to fit me in today, which is so kind of her. Undoubtedly, Romeo will wake up probably within literally the first five minutes of me having my therapy, but it's fine because it's just a FaceTime call that I have every week, so. Um, I'll just bring him into the living room with me or wherever I'm going to have it. Like, don't get me wrong, today it would have been really, really easy to just skip my therapy session because it's like a reschedule anyway and I've got stuff to be doing. Like we're going to go out later. It would have been really easy for me to cancel, but I am like committing to myself just to basically not miss a therapy session. Not that I ever really have anyway, but I don't know. Having Romeo has like brought on so much emotion for me like so many things that i need to work through have really come to the surface since becoming a mum of two it's definitely easy with like the chaos of mum life and just trying to get everything done just to like not do it just to like give that hour to something else instead but mental health is the most important thing you know and every session i go into where i'm like oh i don't really feel like i've got much to talk about today something always always crops up and I, I never leave a therapy session feeling like, oh, I was wasting my time. Oh, I'm going to take my toast. I haven't really got enough time to make a cup of tea now because it's literally 11, but let's risk it for a biscuit, you know? I'm out of my therapy. Saint is still asleep, um, but Romeo's upstairs. Connor's just done with him. I've just fed him. I'm just quickly doing my makeup for the day, and I thought I'd try on this together. This is the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blusher. This is in shade Holly Pop. Um, I think they literally just launched this. You guys know me, I'm not a makeup girly. Like, I really wish I was. I really wish I knew like what the cool things were. But now I've literally just got foundation on my white linen trousers. <sighs> Can you see that? <sighs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Is that our control? It's on there now. Yeah, I absolutely loved when Holly Flynn did my makeup and she's just launched a little bit of a range with Made by Mitchell. And I just saw it online. I thought, oh my God, that looks stunning. And a bit like my style at the moment, I'm in a phase where I just, I need to like research my, my whole makeup bag. Do you know what I mean? Like I've been using these products that I have in my makeup bag for so long. So I just want to try out a couple of new things. And I saw this and I thought, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I thought we'd try on camera together. I don't really know if I'm applying this right, but let's see. I think I'm actually going to try finger. It was only £14, I think, as well, so really good price. Because usually I use the Charlotte Tilbury liquid blushes, which I love, but I don't think they're £14. I think they're a bit more money than that. Oh, that's nice. What do you guys think? I feel like it's definitely got a really lovely go to it but it's still like quite subtle i like it speaking of makeup who has seen this latte makeup trend going around i'm obsessed with it it's just like glowy makeup really isn't it i followed jamie genevieve's makeup tutorial on it and let's just say i did not end up looking like jamie genevieve i'm really not that good at makeup but i, like I learned a couple of new tricks watching it it just really inspired me to just yeah like reuse my makeup bag basically so if you guys have any recommendations of products you like then let me know i actually threaded about this the other day who's on threads i feel like the hype's worn off do you know what i mean like i remember the first day we all got the threads and it was like oh my god everybody thread and i like i've not threaded in like three days four days i've not threaded do you know what i mean and now i have to think about what to thread which i feel like defies the point of it do you know what i mean like you just thread but at the same time, it's another social media app to keep up with. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. Who's ready to do some holiday shopping? Me. 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 We have just pulled up to Cabot Circus, or as Saint calls it, a real life car garage. Wow. Because it looks just like his car garage that he got for his birthday. Saint, are we in a real car garage? This is a real car garage, everyone. Saint, what do you think? Yeah, it's definitely up a level. Shopping. It's definitely up a level. Yeah we're, going, yeah, we're going shopping. And what should we buy, Saint? It's definitely above Peppa us. Pig. Peppa Pig? Buy Peppa Pig. Buy Peppa Pig? Yeah. Okay, well, if we see Peppa Pig, we can say Peppa Pig. 
let's I buy you. Oh, I love her outfit we she's should, got on. How do we go this way? Don't you think that's such a me outfit, Con? Yeah. Right, my mission with this shopping trip is to go into Zara, basically. And also get some food. I'm so hungry. My goodness. I might get tortilla. I'm about to kick off. Why? <laughs> space. I'll get a tortilla. I'll get a Zaza Bazaar. Cool, that's a throwback. Yeah, Zaza Bazaar. Cool. And now I really want to go to one of those all you can eat food courts. If you guys have ever been to Zaza Bazaar, let me know. It's basically like the best hotel buffet, but it's not hotels. It's just like an all you can eat restaurant in Bristol. Hello, handsome. Yeah. Is he awake? Yeah. Hi. He's ready to party. Eh? You know what my favourite thing about being a dad is? A dad or two, everywhere I go, I get a stylish backpack to wear with every single outfit. It's always super heavy, crammed to the brim, and bulges out everywhere. My favourite. <laughs> Family chat. Here she is, my trophy wife. And this is how it happens every time. Dad has the heavy duty of pushing the pram, and mum just holds. Children. That's the way I like it. Ooh, are you playing peekaboo with your brother? Yeah. It's so cute. This is like. Oh, darling, he loves that. Peekaboo. 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 Hello from the Zara changing room. We're tag teaming Connor has Saint who I believe is watching Peppa on his iPhone so that he can try on some clothes for holiday. And I've got the pram, the pram with little guy in it, who's trying to go to sleep at the moment. I'm just trying on a couple of bits for holiday. I am just loving the colour of this cohort. I literally think it's so cute. Really nice for holiday. So I've got this one and then also tried on this cohort, which I feel like you can't really see very well, but that's really nice as well. It's like a knit one. And then I have got this, which I think is like a, I don't know what the word is. It's like a cover up really, but I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't really think I'll wear it that much. As usual, I've got literally loads of stuff for the kids. Oh, for Saint, because I think Romeo's mostly just gonna be like in his nappy for a lot of the time, but. What do you guys think? I'm thinking it's a yes. Okay, Romeo is asleep in there. And we are gonna make a pit stop for lunch, although, they do have a Crosstown Donuts van right there and also behind me over that through that corner there's a frozen yogurt stop everybody. Frozen mm -hmm. yogurt. You already know what I'm getting after my tortilla. Hi! Are you seeing tortillas? Can I please get um large tortillas? Say, do you want something to eat my baby? What do you want darling? Pizza. Pizza? Okay. Mummy get you pizza. Okay, how am I gonna replicate pizza in a Mexican? Maybe if I say the quesadillas are a pizza. You gonna get some ice cream, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, quick! What do you want on your ice cream? Like, this is what you can pick from. Strawberries, mango, or brownie. Can I get one brownie thing, please? Do you want strawberries, mango, kiwi? What do you want? Grapes? Kiwi. kiwi. Say cheers! Cheers. cheers. This is mummy's. They did dairy milk sauce, like actual dairy milk melted chocolate. I didn't get it, I got Nutella, obviously, and cookies and cream, because it's white chocolate. Oh, that is so much better. bedtime routine. With both of them I've been a very routine based mum. I know that everybody has a different way of doing things but for me literally as soon as they were like as soon as we brought them home really it's always been bath feed bed. Obviously like when they're really tiny like I feel like Romeo's really only just starting to 
reap the rewards of me having started that routine when he was really little but when they're really young it's more just like bath feed chill with us until we go to bed but Romeo started to actually like I feel like see it as a routine now and he like goes to sleep for the night once he's had his bath usually by seven o'clock he's down I always do it separately as well like I always thought that I was gonna do their bath times together and maybe I will as Romeo gets a bit older but at the moment we're just doing it separately just for ease I'll come up here at six and do Romeo's bath and Connor will be like playing with Saint or giving Saint his dinner or tidying Saint's room with him and then when Romeo's out the bath Saint hops in and Saint loves his bath so Saint's baths are usually quite long because we play lots of games and do some swimming and play with fishes and stuff and then I will take Romeo into our bedroom and shut the shutters and turn his white noise on and make it like a really calm place for him and breastfeed him I would say like 10 to 15 percent of the time we've had Romeo I have pumped and Connor's given him my express milk through a bottle on some of the nights just so I can do all of Saint's bedtime routine that was mostly at the very start when we just brought Romeo home and I was like trying to get Saint used to having a brother but to have some like special mummy and Saint time I'd do all of his bath time routine but as Romeo's got a little bit older it's not really needed to be like that and Saint is more than happy like playing with Connor in the bath and then Connor getting him dressed in his pyjamas and now I just go in and read him his bedtime story before he goes to sleep. But Romeo actually still has a little bit of cradle cap so I'm using this on him at the moment. Really really good for cradle cap if you guys haven't had it. How's my baby? I love you. brother to it because your brother's first holiday was when he was a bit older than you and went to New York but you'll go when you're a bit younger I'm trying to think of like all of the hacks that I'm gonna need for when we're away like I genuinely I might take he's currently in the um angel I think it's angel care the brand bath see like the cheap one of Amazon I literally might take that for him to have on the beach and I feel like I need to buy, I don't know if I'd do this out there or like order one off of Amazon here, but I feel like I need to buy like a parasol or like umbrella for shade for him on the beach. And then he can just like chill on this chair, his bath seat or like a picnic rug or something. Or a towel or, you know, you know? All this kind of stuff you've got to think about when you're a newborn mum again. When, when they get to Saint's age, it's way easier to be like really chilled about it. Like this year, I'm. I'm really looking forward to this summer holiday with Saint because he is just honestly going to have such a ball. Like he's really got to that age where he just adores playing and really like idolises his older cousins. Whereas last year when we went, he wasn't really walking and... Oh, is that such a handsome smile? It's such a beautiful smile. You distract your mummy so much. Hi, how's my special boy? Romeo. Yeah. You're just a perfect guy. You're just a perfect guy and I love you. Everyone, I have a little wild bear. Baby bear in here. Who made you this cute? Who made you this cute? I just adore the way our bedroom looks at this time of day in the summer. Just so goldeny and lovely. Should we see where your brother and daddy are? Oh, hi! Oh, hello. We're having dinner outside. Al fresco. Al fresco. Love it. Oh, the teddy's climbing it. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I am just popping on here to say that I was going to go ahead and well, finish off today's vlog. Oh, wow, what a good idea. Is that the teddy spaceship? Yeah. Okay. Hat on. Got his hat on. Okay. I'm in this absolute state of our study right now. I literally used to do the biggest house mm. tidy ever. Oh, wow, teddy. You're going so fast. Mm. 
now. It's a helicopter now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Zoom, zoom. Now. I hope you guys. Are... Oh, it's an airplane now. Yeah. Wow, this is polystyrene has turned into so much fun. No. 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 Say go on it. Say go on it. Yeah, go on it. Go on, how are you gonna do this? Mummy pushing me. Mummy push you? Yeah. <laughs> what, and you want mummy to push you around like that? Yeah, I guess. I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend. I actually I spoke about it on my Instagram story yesterday, but I actually had my first ever like afternoon slash evening away from Romeo last night and Saint obviously but it was my first proper time going away to leave Romeo with like somebody that wasn't Connor. I woke up this morning feeling very fresh. I feel like you don't really have a choice when you have kids. You guys know me, I was never really much of a drinker before I had babies anyway. It was just really, really nice to go out and like be with my friends and feel like I let my hair down a little bit and it just made me so grateful this morning waking up to my, my two beautiful children. I missed them so much when I was out. I really did. And it was definitely just a little bit of a breath of fresh air that I needed. And then today I'm actually going off to watch the Barbie movie with my friends. So it's a it's a weekend that I'm getting like my first little bit of me time again since having Romeo. And no, we do not climb the ladder. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. Actually. Sing by yourself. Sing by yourself on here. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, can we say goodbye to everybody? Bye, everybody. <laughs> say, love ya. I love ya. Love ya. <laughs> love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Sending lots of hugs and kisses and loads of love from our family to yours. Love you guys. Have a great week. Should we do Teddy to say goodbye? Yeah. Okay. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> say bye.